In this video, I'm going to go over the assumptions for the chi-square test of independence. The first assumption is knowing that you're comparing two categorical variables. So you're not using any continuous variable. You're looking at things that have frequencies. They don't have decimals. They don't have fractions. They're whole numbers. You're looking to see if this variable is independent or not independent of this variable based off the counts in their different categories. The last part of this assumption is to look at the levels or categories and make sure that they're mutually exclusive. So an example of this would be, all right, are you vaccinated or not vaccinated? Do you have the disease? Do you not have the disease? So things like that where they're not, there's no nesting, um, there's no association beyond one, it's simply, in a lot of cases, a yes, no question or an have or have not. The next assumption goes over whether or not the sample was drawn randomly from a population instead of something clearly skewed or something with repeated measures or repeated data. An example of this would be time series, where you're looking at the same subject or subjects over a series of time. This test is not something you want to use when looking at something with time series. The last assumption has to do with expected values in the cells. At least 80% of them have to have at least five as the expected value. And none of them can have anything less than one. This is because it'll skew the test and you'll get a result that isn't representative of what you're actually looking at because you failed one of the assumptions that the test requires. To best satisfy this assumption, the general rule is that your sample size is just simply more than or equal to five times the number of cells you have. So if you have 20 cells, you're gonna have 100 as your minimum sample. I have a video where I go over an example going through the assumptions as well as just simply doing the hypothesis testing for chi-squared test of independence. If you want to look at that, that will be somewhere on the video um, or in the description. If you found this to be helpful, please like and subscribe. I'll be doing more videos on assumptions as well as testing for those assumptions. I'm also doing more intro based stuff right now uh, simply because I'm just getting started with these videos but if you have a suggestion please leave them in the comment section and I can do a video on that suggestion it's just a matter of I need to know what people want to see thanks for joining me and stay nerdy my friends